Do you want to know what your truck can pull? Stay tuned. We're going to be talking about payload capacity and towing capacity and what all those numbers mean. So you don't want to miss this video. This is a 2020 Ram 2500. It's the 6.7 Cummins diesel engine. It is a pulling machine. This is a three quarter ton truck. Can you pull a big 40 foot fifth wheel with this? Certainly. Should you? It depends on the numbers. And that's what we're gonna go over. What you have to consider when buying a truck is can it support the weight of the trailer? Especially if it's a fifth wheel, you're going to be looking at 20 to 25 percent of that fifth wheel's gross vehicle weight rating. So if the trailer is 16,000 pounds, then you're looking at 3,200 pounds of payload so you need to make sure that your truck can handle that and so if you're looking at a travel trailer then you're only looking at a 10 percent to 15 percent of tongue weight of the total trailer weight so again if the trailers weighs 10,000 pounds then you're only looking at a thousand pound of payload or hitch weight that you're going to be looking at uh, could be a little more a little less depending on what you put in so hey everyone we're going to go get this truck weighed in what do you think it's going to weigh with a full tank of gas? Your guess is as good as mine. But we're going to go get some numbers and see how much payload capacity we actually have after we have a full tank of gas and add some extra pounds as well for another person, extra cargo, the weight of a fifth wheel hitch that goes in the back of the truck and see if we even come close to the GVWR of the truck that's on the door tag. So let's go. So guys, we're done with the scale. Got our numbers right here. And it'll be up on the screen as well. So let's go over the numbers. Our front wheel, the drive axles, those are 3,040 pounds. It's on point with what the sticker says. All right, so that's good. The steer axles, which are the rear axles, with a full tank of gas, 4,780 pounds. So, a lot. With that 
both numbers combined, we're looking at 7,820 pounds. So this truck on the sticker, it says a gross vehicle weight rating of 10,000 pounds. So we're gonna subtract that 7,820 from the 10,000 and we're left with 22, just under 2,200 pounds for payload capacity. So if you're looking for a truck, make sure that you're gonna have the right payload capacity. Uh, this truck can do a fifth wheel, but we wanna make sure that we're under our payload capacity, that we're not gonna go over our GVWR, our gross vehicle weight rating. So with that, we'll be looking at lighter trailers, um, probably even gonna go with a travel trailer to start out with because you don't need as much, they don't take up as much payload because they're on the bumper, which doesn't uh, translate um, to the rear wheels as much as a fifth wheel. So anyway, with that being said, guys, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a big thumbs up. It really helps support the channel. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification so you're notified every time we release a video. And always remember to cherish the journey and cherish the moments that you're in. Until next time, guys, we'll see you later.